Okay, so greetings. It's uh, it's Mike from Live Your Ass Off. Live My Ass Off. Com. This is Gracie. Say hello. <laughs> so we're here at the uh, Patronus Towers. Whoa, I just stepped on her foot. Um, that's behind me, and I haven't done a video in forever uh, since I was last in uh, Thailand, where we're going tomorrow. We'll be in Bangkok. And uh, so as I was walking around here, I thought it was like, I just sort of paused and I thought it was sort of interesting how, uh, you're getting like a silhouette right now, aren't you? How's that? That's better. Uh, how interesting Malaysia is because uh, if you've been to Thailand, you kind of probably know about the whole old meets new sort of thing. And they have, you know, these palatial malls and then at the bottom of the mall, you can buy rice for $2. And here, it's pretty similar. Like, so, on the street near our uh, condo that we're renting, uh, we got dinner last night for about 13 uh, ringgit, which is approximately uh, 3 or $4. And it was great. Uh, and then just this afternoon, or just now, it's about 11.30, oh, I'm sorry. It's actually 11.02 here. Can you see that? Probably not. 11.02. Uh, and so it, it's interesting, right? So there's like all this really inexpensive stuff. And then the price of the ticket to go on the uh, elevators was, um, for two of us, it was $33. And then for the photo that they took of us, it was $30. <laughs> But the Uber to get here was $2. So, you know, it's one of those deals where people say, well, how does it cost to go on vacation? And like, oh my God, you must be spending all this money. Occasionally, yeah. There are some things that cost money. But then then we bought a shirt. I bought a shirt for like $1.90. So, I mean, it all seems to even out. And I think at the end of the day, uh, once again, it is cheaper to live over here than it is back there. Um... There are some things that absolutely costs U.S. dollar tourist amounts. Um, but it's pretty neat, you know, and it was funny. I had a guy comment on one of my videos, thank you, uh, and he mentioned he's going over to Pattaya and he's going to be um, considering retiring there. And that's what I thought. When I was in Bangkok, I was literally there like less than two hours and I said, oh my God, I'm going to retire here by the time I'm 50. So I went back over there a couple times, and then I recently went to the Philippines, where I met Gracie actually last January. Woof! And uh, and then I'm like, okay, well now I like I want to come to the Philippines. At Philippines, and now that we've been traveling just in the last week, I haven't even been here a week yet. Um, Philippines and now Kuala Lumpur. Tomorrow is Bangkok for about four or five days, and then Da Nang, Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City, uh, Singapore, back to the Philippines, over to Boracay. And uh, I've discovered that what I want to do when I quote unquote retire uh, is travel around places. Um, and the neat thing about certainly so far Thailand and the Philippines is having a, I guess, place that's come back to is pretty inexpensive, provided that place isn't in Boracay um, or some other tourist place. I mean, Phuket too, right? I mean, every, every place has their tourist places that are costing U.S. dollars. And right now, if you can't see, my 40 kilo girlfriend is hiding behind 92 kilo fat white guy. And so you can't see her. Um, but she's infinitely better looking than I am. Shocker. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to check in from Kuala Lumpur. And uh, like I've always said, I hope you're living the dream. Because if you're not living the dream, you're doing it wrong. And there is so many opportunities to live the dream within a $50 plane ride all through Southeast Asia. So I hope you check it out. Uh, let me know where you're at. It would be really cool to get some suggestions on what to do. Um, we are here in Kuala Lumpur for one more day. Uh, we'll be in Bangkok. I've been there a bunch of times and I'm gonna show her some temples and stuff. And so that'll be awesome. Um, and, uh, and then we may, we may go to one of the islands if we can get, if we can swing it for a day, I'm not sure. Um, Singapore, totally looking for suggestions on that, and Da Nang and Ho Chi Minh City for sure. Um, so anyway, happy uh, December 23rd from Kuala Lumpur. Ciao.